Hey everyone, Knox and I are here at um, the waiting room of a place, uh, an oral surgery place. Um, dear friends of ours, the, the Fortners, their daughter Lucy, who I've known for years now and I love so dearly, is having an oral surgery. Oh, Knox, David, he just poured in all these berries. Naughty boy. Oh my gosh, look at, look at his pants. Oh, adventures of an almost two-year-old. Hold on, I'll be back. Crisis averted, he just has blackberry stains all over his pants now. Oh well, but um, Lucy is having a surgery this morning to remove three of her teeth, and she has had a lot of anxiety all this week and was very nervous, and, um, and I wanted to be here this morning with her and her family. No, no. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? How did you do this? Are you dancing? That's a feeling. That's a. Okay, so I'm about to see Lucy. Her her surgery just ended. She was particularly afraid of the anesthesia. And earlier with uh, this morning, I prayed with her and told her that I've had several anesthesias, and it's just like the best nap ever. And that God was with me. And hopefully, um, she's doing okay. You know, she was nervous, um, and I'm just excited to to see her. I love her. I love her parents, and I'm so glad to be here with them this morning. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's a hot mess. I also want to update you that after my um, rough day that I had, I went home and took that wonderful bath, lavender bath, uh, and I slept for 11 hours. And I woke up feeling a lot more refreshed and did work yesterday. Um, as the day went on, I still had a few symptoms, but they were manageable with medication. And towards the end of the day, I just start getting more and more tired. I start the day pretty well and refreshed, but towards the end of the day, I'm really ready to lay down. I got home, showered, and napped pretty much right away. So uh, thank you for praying for me. I'm feeling good this morning. It's very important to get very good sleep, apparently, and so I've been trying to go to bed early and and sleep well. Now Knox and I are gonna go see Lucy. He's been praying for Lucy Knox. Fala, amen. Me. Amen. We've been praying for Lucy this morning. Here's Lucy's daddy, Mike. We love Mike. <laughs> Look. And whenever y'all already know Rush, but um, oh. there's a side of the ramp. So. Gotcha. Well, it's Knox. Yeah, Fala, Lucy. Lucy. I'm so proud of you, Lucci. She's doing She great. did it! She did it! These are Lucy's extra teeth that she got removed. She did so good. Say hi. The tooth fairy needs to bring you 30 bucks. What? <laughs> Me and Knox are here at the drive through at Chick fil A to get Lucy some. Uh, ice cream because she can't have anything crunchy. She just needs to have something very cold and also getting Mike and Jen some lunch They don't know that but I want to love them big love it. this big right and uh, I love chick-fil-a. I Come here multiple times. They have this prize for every hundredth customer Gets a free meal and I come here so often that I have won the hundred customer free meal seven times seven Lucy is awake now feeling a lot better right mm -hmm. show, show everybody your teeth three big teeth they're all gone she's enjoying some ice cream you want to give a big smile <laughs> cutie pie mm, love you so good to see you smiling Lucy I'm about to go down for an afternoon nap and before I go down I wanted to share something that happened with me yesterday towards the end of the day at work I started feeling pretty tired and fatigued and I was very ready to take a nap when I got home and I crashed when I got home. I set my alarm to wake up early enough to go to the women's Bible study that we have at our church. When the alarm went off an hour later, every bone in my body wanted to stay in bed. I could have slept for another 10 hours easily. But I decided to get up and go. I really wanted to listen to my friend Esther. She was teaching for the first time and I also wanted to be with my church family. And I am so glad that I did because I was reminded of 
a very important lesson that community and closeness takes effort. Not only was the study wonderful, but we had such a sweet time in the Word and praying with each other and carrying each other's burdens and even crying and we laughed and we had so much fun together. And that's usually how it is when we get together. It's so much fun, it's so refreshing, and I was able to get some rest for my soul. I know a lot of people out there struggle with loneliness and isolation, but I just want to say and encourage you that community and closeness with others is worth the effort, not only in good times, but that much more in tough times like I'm having. And being close to other people is not always easy. As a matter of fact, it can get very, very messy because people have different personalities, they have their own problems, they have messiness in their life. I have my own issues that do not have it all together, far from it. And so when you get all that entangled together, it gets really messy, but it's a beautiful, beautiful mess. Don't be afraid to get messy and to meet new people. Make the effort. Step out of your comfort zone. Get out there to get plugged into a community because it's so incredibly worth it. And I can testify that 100%. And I was so glad to this morning feel well enough to in turn be there for Lucy. She was really scared of her anesthesia and her surgery and I was able to be with her parents and to support them and to get messy with them. And so we're all in this beautiful mess together and it's love permeates all throughout and it's so beautiful because love is so much bigger than cancer. I'll be okay. Thank you so much for all the love and the prayers that you sent me. And I have a naked boy over here in the bathroom wall. <laughs> so remember that love.